Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a large cumulative thrift haul to share. This is probably three or four trips to the thrift store, either my local family thrift center outlet where I pay $2 per item or the Goodwill outlet slash Goodwill bins where I pay $2.19 per pound. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know exactly how many items, probably 50 or 60, maybe a little bit more, but I do have so many accessories and pairs of shoes to start off with, and then we will go into women's clothing. So first off for accessories is this Silver Tone Concho Western Belt. I just thought this was really cute to add some flair to your outfit. It's fully adjustable and back with this chain closure. Another belt, cabbie. I've never picked up any cabbie accessories before, but the clothing items sell pretty well for me, case by case scenario, but this was genuine leather and I just really like the woven design to it. I thought this was really nice and it felt really high quality. We have a little hat. This is totally my vibe. It's like a sun-washed army green. It's by the brand Life is Good, which again sells pretty well for me in clothing. Never picked up an accessory from them before with a little peace sign in front. How cute is that? So yeah, I had to grab this and I think that should do pretty well. I'm thinking 15, maybe 18, possibly 20 on that. Next we have a bag here. It's like a shoulder tote. And I just had to grab this. I thought this style was really trendy and kind of boho with this um, colorful print to it. It's like a straw jute uh, body. And then the straps, I believe, are genuine leather. They're kind of stiff just from not being used. It is new with tags. So, yeah, I definitely wanted to pick it up and see if I could try to find it a new home. I think it's a really nice piece. It's fully lined. It has a small pocket inside. Okay, now on to shoes. Our first pair are Minnetonka fringe booties, and they have the little metal concho western detail. It's like braided as well with fringe, and they do have a hard sole, which is great. These can be worn outside. I had never heard of this brand before, but I saw that these were genuine leather cowboy boots. They are a toddler size. Um, they're a size 11 in girls. And this embroidery just looked really well done. So I did take a second. I don't sell kids. I don't, I mean, I, I have before, but you know, I don't typically pick it up. Um, but you know, if I come across a really high quality piece like these, I definitely will take a second. And the brand is Macy Bean. And a lot of these have sold for $50 to $100. I think they retail, I forget, I want to say $150, but they do seem really popular, so I'm glad I took a second to look at these. Um, so I'm expecting maybe $40, $50-ish for these. They do have a little bit of wear to the back heel. And following with the Western trend, these are Corral boots, C-O-R-R-A-L. They're made in Mexico, really high quality, genuine leather, and they have this strappy detail. This actually can be removed, the, this three strap detail. It's studded, and yeah, I just thought these were super cute. These are a size six and a half in women's. The Minnetonka moccasins are a size six and a half also. Okay, I loved these, Ms. Moose. How cool are these? They almost give me like a Freebird kind of vibe. Very just slouchy, casual. And I love the silver metallic um, detail with this kind of burnished leather look. They do have a small heel in back and the toe strap in front. These are a size 39 which I did look up their size chart. I think these are an eight and a half. Once again, I will have everything listed by the time this video goes up. So if you're interested in anything, or if you just want to see what price I list everything at, you can go ahead and click over to my Poshmark um, if you're curious. Madewell Billy Boots. These are just a classic 
heeled booty from Madewell. Very versatile. These are, you could wear these in any season really. And these are a taupe suede. They're in really good shape. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to find these. I don't know if I've ever found Madewell boots before. They're size 9 and there is the Madewell label. Next, Steve Madden, just a tried and true pair of leather Truba boots. They're like a grayish brown or maybe a brownish gray and they do zip inside. They have a little bit of wear but I still pick them up just because they have a manufactured distress look to them so you know the wear doesn't stick out like a sore thumb or anything it just almost kind of blends in. Lucky Brand perforated heeled booties, peep toe, and once again they have that stacked heel and back. And these also do have a little bit of wear to this interior heel here, but I figured it was on the inside and they were only $2. They're still a really nice kind of everyday shoe. Um, so I am going to list these lower, probably about $25 just because of that wear. They're a size 8. So I've never found or picked up this brand before. I believe it's sold at Nordstrom and I think it is pretty, the retail is pretty expensive. So these are a leather strap sandal and the leather is really soft and nice feeling. So I think you can kind of um, tie them how you want. Honestly, there's no real like one way to tie them. These are size five and a half and they're in pretty good shape. So I definitely wanted to pick those up, see how they will do. Seems like a great little spring summer shoe for someone. Okay, next Sam Edelman. These are like a calf hair leopard printed Felicia flat and they're in decent condition. The interior has a little bit of wear, but the soles are in good shape. These are size seven. Paul Green. I've talked about this brand many times before. It's very expensive. These probably originally retailed for around $300. They are a, once again, perforated peep toe kind of booty sandal. And um, yeah, really nice high quality shoes. Stacked heel and back. They are a size six, which converts to an eight and a half in Paul and Green. Paul Green, you do have to convert this brand. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have my, without a doubt, favorite pair of shoes that I found in this haul. These are Jeffrey Campbell for free people, over the knee boots. This one's untied, but you get the picture. Guys, how gorgeous are these? So they are heeled and they have this, it's like a slightly manufactured, distressed look to the leather. These are gorgeous and they are in like brand new condition. There's no wear to the sole really. It looks like they were maybe tried on a couple times, maybe like in store. They're a size nine. How cool are these? I seriously like almost fainted when I found these. I paid $2 for these and they retail for $298. So they zip on the inside and I still, I have to pinch myself when I see these, when I come over to my office and I see these sitting on my shoe rack that I actually found these because they are just beautiful and I'm so excited to get these listed. I have them all ready to go. Um, so yeah. Definitely one of my favorite thrift finds I have found in a long while. All right, so now we will move into women's clothing. Let me adjust here a little bit. So starting off, we have this L.L. Bean size extra large jacket. And this is, the insulation is goose down a minimum of 80% down. So the fact that it's a reputable brand, L.L. Bean, it's a great size, extra large, and it does have that high quality factor to it with the goose down. I had to grab this. Also, obviously, because it's in amazing condition, if this had any rips in it, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But I didn't see any holes or small tears or anything. I inspected it very closely. It also has zippered pockets, which is nice. 
Okay, next a new tags J Crew. Where's the front? Here's the front. Okay, new tags J Crew one shoulder ruffle little cocktail dress. Really pretty. This is a size double zero. Okay, this is a fun piece. I've never found this brand before. Maji. It's um, a pretty expensive swimwear brand. This is a swim cover-up slash little mini dress, and I just thought the print was really neat. It has like zebras and the like an Af a map of Africa on it. So yeah, pretty neat. And then a little mixed print at the bottom hem. This is a size small. Once again, great shape, so perfect for the upcoming warmer weather. Blue and Gray Maxi Dress. I love the brand Blue and Gray. Um, it has a good, I wouldn't say it has a super high resale value, but it does sell very consistently for me. So this is a size small and it's a high neck maxi dress. Really pretty and flattering. It's kind of like a lightweight material that doesn't cling to you, but um, it's still flattering nonetheless. Madewell, I think this is called like the perfect ex-boyfriend chambray shirt. It's high-low, light wash, and this is just great to throw on over like a white tank top with black pants, size medium. That's how I would wear it at least. I have so many shirts like this in my personal closet. They're just really nice to add a little bit of extra coverage or extra warmth. This is a pretty good find. So this is Athleta and it's from their Cozy Karma line. Athleta, this is one of the newer tags, size large. And I knew that it was from that line, the Cozy Karma line, because of this interior. It's like a plush feeling interior. And this line sells really well. People seem to really like it just because it is very cozy and it's great for lounging, super comfortable and soft. It's like a mock neck, heathered, oatmeal, kind of long line sweatshirt. So this would be great if you want to wear with leggings. You could cover the bum and um, yeah, so it has these nice gold zippers on the sides with pockets. It's a size large. Club Monaco silk mini skirt. I don't really pick up this brand often, but I grabbed this from the bins. It's so lightweight. It is 100% silk, which elevates the quality. And this grid print is always pretty trendy. It's like a minimal kind of look to it. Um, and also Club Monaco is a reputable brand. So it had quite a bit going for it in my mind. It zips down and back and it is a size zero. It's fully lined. It's really well made, well constructed. Okay, we have these Anthropology Cartonnier uh, like brocade pants. These are the Charlie ankle pants in a size 12. A fun tie-dye piece. I have sold this brand before. It's called Trist and this was a size extra large. Plus, that um, combined with the fun tie-dye print, which has been so trendy, the shark bite hem, I had to pick this up. I thought this would be a nice top to just throw on. So this has actually already sold. Once again, it's a size extra large. It's the newer cabbie tag. This sold for $25. And it's a really nice kind of jersey knit, soft and stretchy two-tone long sleeve top. The sleeves are actually two-tone as well. So yeah, I was happy to find this. Just a really comfy, cozy top. Yeah, rayon spandex. J. Crew size medium. Really pretty crew neck sweatshirt. So it has this like botanical print to it, but then it also has beaded details. All of the beads and embellishments are accounted for. I checked several times. That's also really soft on the inside. It's like that, um, 
like very kind of fuzzy sweatshirt material so that's nice Eileen Fisher size large these are a Lyocell linen blend jogger pant they have zips at the ankles and a drawstring at the waist which is really nice you can adjust them a little bit some more tie-dye I picked this up from the bins it's just a I think this is like a a um, like at home tie dye DIY project, but I really like the colors to it. I think they did a good job. It's a nice even all over tie dye print. This is a size small. Fabletics new tags. It's like a crossover sleeveless top. This would be really nice if you just worked out and you want to add something over your sports bra but you still want to get like that ventilation going um, you could just throw this on for some coverage and this is a size medium yeah and this was originally $35 moth by anthropology medium as well and I loved this find it's like a neutral midi Actually, it might be maxi skirt, but it's like a faux wrap front, and it's lined to mid-thigh in this really soft material, so it would be really comfy. Also, with this elastic waistband, that's really nice um, for comfortability, and I love the colors that are in this skirt. This is like my wardrobe in one skirt, like the color palette of my entire wardrobe. Um, okay, so this is a really good find. If you guys are not familiar with this brand, take note of this tag. It says Lauren Moshi. It's an extra small. And this is like a waffle knit zip up hoodie. It's a long line. It has pockets in front. And the back is like this abstract woman woman's face print. I can't really tell exactly what's going on with this print. This is very Lauren Moshi, just kind of like abstract prints and um, themes. So this is, she also adds her signature into the prints. And yeah, I'm expecting maybe 40 to $50 for this. I think it is a little bit of an older piece, but some of the older pieces can be more desirable because they are harder to find. Another just cozy piece, soft and sexy, Terry. This is from American Eagle. It's a size extra large. I don't really pick up the soft and sexy stuff because I see it all the time. But the fact that this was an extra large, it was in good condition. It also has a fun ombre print to it. And the fact that it's a cozy piece. I've mentioned it so many times, but people are staying at home. They're lounging. They're wanting to be comfy. So I have been trying to grab as many pieces that would be conducive for that as I can just because people seem to be on the hunt for loungewear. Hardtail, I've actually never sold this brand before but I was looking up comps and I was kind of surprised that it seems to sell pretty well maybe in that $20, $35 range. So this is a drop shoulder casual top it's long line high low it has the side vents and the reason i wanted to pick it up is because it is new with tags so i only paid two dollars for this i'm excited to see how that does okay another fun unique piece here scotch and soda once again size extra large which is awesome if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I love this mustard color. I also thought this graphic print was pretty cool. It's like an old man. It's almost like a folklore print to it. Um, so yeah, I had to pick this up. I think it's really interesting and should do well. Some more tie-dye. These actually have also sold. They sold a couple hours after I listed them the other day. The brand is Brightly Twisted size small and they sold for my full asking price of $45 they retail for around a hundred and it seems like they do have a following so the reason that I 
decided to grab them at the store, I had never heard of the brand before, was mainly because of the trendy tie-dye print and also because they are made in USA, which is usually a sign that it's a little bit higher quality. They're also that really soft and stretchy material, which is, um, you know, just feels really nice. And um, they have this side slit that actually goes all the way up to the waist. So these would be great kind of beach pants or lounge pants. And yeah, I just really liked this tie-dye print. So this is Lululemon. It's a long sleeve black top. It has a shark bite hemline and thumb holes. This measures as a size small. It doesn't have the size dot. And this top was designed by Lululemon. They marketed it towards dancers, like ballet dancers. The style paragraph said something about like, you know, keeping you warm while you're waiting in line to go on stage or you're waiting to practice. I thought that was kind of neat. Obviously, um, anyone could wear that, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren, size medium, really cool southwestern printed sweater. It's like lightweight, and I love the cut of this. It's like boxy and slouchy. This would be really cute. You can almost wear it like off shoulder with some booties. This is the back. It has the print on the back as well. Okay, yet another cozy piece. This is just American Eagle. It's three buttons and it has this sun washed um, wash to it. It's a size extra small. It definitely is a little bit oversized. I might actually try that on. Guns N' Roses graphic t-shirt. Kind of cropped. I always pick up band tees usually if they're in good condition. They're kind of bread and butter for me. It has distressing around the collar, which I thought was a nice touch. This is a size small. Level 99. These are called the Cindy shorts. They are a linen blend short. And I definitely don't always pick up this brand, Level 99. It is sometimes sold through Anthropology. These were actually sold through Stitch Fix and they seem to be pretty popular. They sold for $78 through Stitch Fix. And I definitely wanted to grab these because they are a great size. They're a size 33, which is a plus size. And they are a linen blend. And they're a nice spring summer color, also in great shape. Okay, this is just a little um, also kind of bread and butter piece for me. It's Brandy Melville. John Galt and it's a rainbow stripe kind of pullover. I wouldn't call this a sweater just because it's like t-shirt material but um, the, the listings that I was seeing on Poshmark called this a sweater. So yeah, but it's definitely lightweight. Yet again, some more tie-dye. I was really feeling the tie-dye over the last couple weeks. How cool is this t-shirt though? Once again, I think this was done at home, but it's really cool looking and tie-dye is definitely still trending, so I had to grab that. I think this is, yeah, this is just Gildan again and it's a size medium. Okay, so this is a little bit of a bummer piece. I was so excited. I was flipping through the racks and I could just tell by touching this hoodie that it was Lululemon. However, it does have some flaws, so it has a slit here and then a couple smaller ones down here by the arm. But it's this long line, really soft and stretchy hoodie. It kind of has a balloon sleeve here. It's like a heathered oatmeal color. There's the hood. Um, and it has this really nice large kangaroo pocket in the front. This would be like the best just kind of running Aaron's hoodie because it's so, you know, just kind of comfortable and practical with the large pocket. So here is the rip tag. This thing feels brand new except for these slits. So I was kind of heartbroken when I found this, but honestly, I think it will still sell. Even if it sells for $15, you know, I'll still make $10 on it. So this is extra small, small and it is mod modal and elastane. So that explains why it's so soft and stretchy. Next up, I have a four piece bundle. I am going to bundle these all together. They are Everlane tank tops. They are all 
I think three are a size small and then this one is a size extra small. So just some great basics and I'll probably list the bundle, I don't know, maybe like $35, but yeah, I thought this would just be a great little, if someone needs like some basic tank tops, they can just buy them in a bundle and they all look like they were never worn before. Eileen Fisher, size large, the tag is unattached there, but this is a really nice sweater. I love the kind of slouchy vibe to it with the cut. So it's high-low and it has like a dolman sleeve. It's almost like a marled knit long line. Barefoot Dreams. So this is like the ultimate kind of cozy pieces. So obviously I was ecstatic to find this. Also in a size large. It's like this chocolate brown hoodie, zip-up hoodie. It has the split kangaroo pocket, and it's not faded. My camera is just kind of washing it out. Um, but yeah, very happy to find that. Free People Thermal. I've sold this a couple times before. This one has actually already sold. It sold in a bundle to one of my repeat buyers. And once again, I love this mustard color. Love the sleeves on this. Really cool. Next, this is a fun little kimono. I picked this up based on style and size. So the brand is intro, it's a size large. And it's like this botanical printed kimono with some fringe crochet details. So this is the print in back and it has this fun fringe bottom hem. Super cute, great shape. We have a two piece Vintage gold label Victoria's Secret little pajama set. A paisley print. It's like a pastel paisley print. Here is the tag. So this gold label by Victoria's Secret, some of the pieces can sell really well. I sold a vintage bodysuit from this label, um, I would say like a year-ish ago for around $60. So yeah, some, piece, some pieces can sell really well. It has this embroidered cutout detail at the chest and then these little shorts. And with any kind of older pieces, you always want to check the elastic to make sure that it's still in good shape. And this piece was in excellent condition. Both pieces were a size small, so I had to grab that. Okay, this was once again another piece I got just based on style. I thought this would be a nice little cover up for someone during beach season. It's tie dye and it's like a poncho. Oh, I loved this. So once again, a brand I have never picked up before, Stetson, size large, but how could I leave this behind? So it's a denim pearl snap uh, top, long sleeve top. And the back, look how beautiful this is. So it has all of this amazing quality embroidery. It's like white roses. So yeah, I was really happy about that. I think, I don't know if I have that listed already, but it's gonna be listed for around 50 to $60. It retailed for over 100. Okay, keeping with the tie-dye trend. We have Logo by Lori Goldstein and these are, I have two of them here. They're both a size 1X which is awesome. Um, I, if you were watching my last for Talls, I uploaded a whole lot of Logo by Lori Goldstein and most of it has sold. So I was happy to find these pieces and has a shark bite hem. This one does have pockets which is great. And then I thought this one was so cute. I love this kind of mixed tie-dye print. It's also a really nice like substantial thick material. So yeah it has this like yellow greenish tie-dye at the body and then the sleeves, neck, neckline, and pocket are a pink tie-dye. So how cute is that? Once again size 1x. All right another kimono. You'll see a lot of the same trends and styles. Um, just because 
you know, I like to pick up what's trendy. I definitely don't always go by brand. Um, I pick up a lot of pieces up based on style, size, condition, um, brand. The more I resell, the more that brand kind of goes lower and lower on the list of, you know, what I'm looking for. Obviously, you know, if you find a high-end designer brand, that's always really exciting. But it definitely doesn't have to be high-end brand for it to sell. So I hope that's kind of encouraging for you guys if you don't seem to find um, great brands all the time. I don't either. Um, I, I think a lot of people are just looking for cute, trendy stuff that's in good condition. And as long as it's pretty good quality, I think that it should still sell well. So this is a very boho printed kimono cardigan. It's by the brand Angie. And yeah, this is, I don't, I, this should have a size, but someone cut it out. So I'm just going to measure it and list it based on, actually I probably won't measure it because it's an open front. So I'll probably just try it on and see how it fits me and kind of give a little description based off of that. So next up we have this really fun pair of pants. How cute are these? So they have all of this fun like patchwork details, some ties, and just little embroidery, just kind of random, um, random additions to the pants throughout. And the brand is Gadzooks, but I looked at this inner tag and it says buy forever 21. So I think they are a piece that was long ago sold at, at forever 21. They're size extra small. And I just had to grab these. I'm going to put a lot of keywords in the listing for these, like art to wear, lag and look, artsy, um, unique, fun. And I think they should sell pretty well. So another brand that I have never found before. This is Handful, H-A-N-D-F-U-L. I think that's going to be kind of hard to read there. But... It's a camo printed sports bra, and um, it was in really good condition. Camo, kind of like tie-dye, is a very trendy print. This is made in the USA, and it's a size extra small. Okay, this is kind of what I was just talking about. I have never heard of this brand, but Audi. But I grabbed this because it's a size 3XL, and it's also a super cute print and style. So it's this floral printed long sleeve dress and it has some crochet inserts going down the sleeves and at the chest and then the back upper back so it's really pretty and feminine and I don't find 3x you know too often so I like to grab it when I can especially if it's a super cute um, print and style same kind of thing, Sleep Sense. This brand doesn't mean anything to me, but this print definitely does. So how adorable is this print? It's dogs. It's like dachshunds and labradors. And I see a corgi here. How cute is this? And these are in excellent condition. They're just little pajama pants. They have this black drawstring here, so it'd be really easy to just pair like a basic black t-shirt with them. So yeah, I had to pick those up. I thought those are so cute, even if they only sell for, you know, $20, $25. Bowden, this is a linen blend striped dress. This is great for spring and summer. Has the tie waist. I was really excited that the belt was still with it. And this is a size US 4 regular. It's the Bowden tag. Okay, this didn't even have a brand tag attached to it, but it's a leopard printed cardigan. I was going to model this. I probably still should, um, just because I think it's a really nice kind of essential leather leopard cardigan for someone. Um, it's in really good shape. It's probably like a size small to medium. All right, our last couple pieces here, size large. 
Death Leopard tie-dye band graphic t-shirt. So cute. This is so incredibly trendy. I can so seeing this, see this selling for $20, $25 very easily. So this is a Lily Pulitzer strapless dress, and this dress is kind of funny. So when I first picked it up, I thought that this bird print, I thought that these birds were storks for whatever reason, and I thought that because it was a blue color that this was kind of designed to be worn to like a baby boy um, baby shower. But then when I got it home and I was searching like Lily Pulitzer, stork, baby shower dress nothing was coming up and I took a closer look and these are pelicans these are definitely pelicans so I thought that was kind of hilarious I was kind of laughing at myself but it has the tie back with the cutout and it's still really cute nonetheless you know pelicans very beachy has this little detail around the bottom hem this is a size four and lastly for this haul another kind of boho piece soft surroundings I normally don't pick up soft surroundings in smaller sizes this is this is an extra small but how beautiful is this embroidery so pretty really really high quality well done embroidery and it has kind of like this jagged bottom hem half sleeves i should probably model this too just to kind of make it a little bit more trendy looking so that is it for this thrift haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe i'm sure i will have another ship with me or thrift haul coming very soon so thank you guys i'll see y'all soon bye